Welcome back, people, to the Mind of Reese YouTube channel. Welcome back, my Dallas Mavericks fans. As you can tell by the title, this is Dallas Mavericks themed uh, content here. Speaking of which, uh, my very last video that I put out, the state of the Dallas Mavericks address, it's doing very well. Getting some positive feedback, getting some positive, uh, some positive vibes, some positive uh, responses going on so if you have not seen that video check it out link will be in the description i'm gonna try to put a link in the video somewhere i'm still new to this bear with me if you don't see it just click the link in the goddamn description but anyway uh speaking of the dallas mavericks the reason why we're here today uh recently some news have come out that the dallas mavericks are interested in uh trading for laurie marketing on the chicago bulls who is no longer happy with uh being with the organization cool uh long ago i was against having lori marketing and porzingis on the same team but considering how poorly dallas has done in free agency in the offseason so far as a whole i'm thinking hey get lori marketing maybe he can come off the bench you know or maybe kp can do a very good job at center this season we could play lori marketing at the starting four who knows terribly defensively but at this point, as long as you can get a, uh, score the ball, who cares? He's like a, a, a great value, Kristaps Porzingis, and I don't mean that in a disrespectful way. I'm just saying that game is similar, but the peak we've seen Porzingis at, we haven't seen from marketing yet. Not saying he can't be there. Uh, granted, I don't think he can be there defensively, but we have not seen that from marketing yet. Uh, he had, He's a very good shooter. He's been shooting well, better than Chris Stops recently, I guess, even in his bad season, uh, quote unquote, last season. But a lot of Mavs fans have this issue with, oh no, we're not, we don't need to get Laurie Marketing because of who we would have to trade to get Laurie Marketing. Well, who we have to trade to get Laurie Marketing? Uh, Dorian Finney Smith, Maxi Kleber, uh, Dwight Powell. Also, you don't, you, you don't want to trade those guys for Laurie Marketing? No, that key pieces to the team. They can't be touched. Not for Lloyd Marketing. Let me explain why that's a terrible way to go about things and will never improve that way. First things first, Lloyd Marketing has a higher ceiling than all three of those players combined. Second thing, Lloyd Marketing has always had a higher ceiling than all three of those players combined. Third thing, Lloyd Marketing is better than all three of those players. Now, I'm going to tell you why. Dorian Finney-Smith, Dwight Powell, Maxi Kleber, these guys are expendable. And I don't mean this by any disrespect because I like I like all three of these guys. And I love Dorian. Dorian played very well for us in the playoffs last year when most people weren't stepping up. But the role that we have for Dorian, for Maxi, for Dwight Powell can be filled by a lot of players. And guys who may actually do the role better. Never know. But... I'm not saying I want these guys gone. I'm saying if these guys could go to get us a better player who not only A, can contribute like a Lori Marketing, starting caliber player in the league, if he doesn't pan out well, you can trade him somewhere else. Honestly, because he's young and he's still going to have a pretty high ceiling and some sort of value because of his age. If he just comes in and plays regular. We still will be able to trade him somewhere, regardless of his contract. We've seen that no contract in the NBA is untradeable. So let me tell you why each of these players are expendable. And they it all kind of falls under the same category for these guys. I'm going to break it down. Dorian Finney-Smith. Dorian Finney-Smith uh, took most of the, the assignment of defending the op opposing team's best player. Depending on size, sometimes it will be maxi. But Dorian Finney-Smith took on that uh, that role. Dorian Finney-Smith is a good defender. Dorian Finney-Smith is not a top defender in the league. He should not be given that role because then sometimes it'll make him look bad. The role that Dorian Finney-Smith is given doesn't benefit Dorian Finney-Smith. Dorian Finney-Smith is a very decent three-point shooter. I would not consider him a reliable, consistent three-point shooter. So, when Luka's being doubled or Luka's attacking the basket and drawing the defense in, we have Dorian wide open. Sure, he's wide open. We're kicking it to him. 
but he's not a three-point shooter. Sure, teams are going to close out just for the simple fact that he's in the NBA, he can hit the shot, but I don't think teams respect him enough to say, hey, we can't leave Dorian Finney-Smith open. I think Laurie Markkinen could command more respect in that aspect. Speaking of three-point shooting, Maxi Kleber. Maxi Kleber is a very good player. Decent player at best. Average at best. Used to be very well good at three-point shooting. Past few seasons with the bubble and this last season, he has not been. I don't know if that has anything to do with health or uh, physical or mental, whatever's going on with him, but he just has not been doing what we've been asking him to do as his role. If he's not been fulfilling his role, would that not make him expendable for someone like a Laurie Markkinen who can shoot and contribute more than him? Maxi Kleber, yes, Maxi Kleber can defend a lot of the bigger guards, I meant bigger forwards. Uh, guys like Kawhi, but he's not really doing anything against them. He's just giving them maybe a hard time. So will we even be losing anything by losing him in that aspect? Chicago Bulls can probably use a Maxi Kleber and a Dorian Finney-Smith much better than the Dallas Mavericks can. The Dallas Mavericks, you can say, not necessarily they need Maxi Kleber and Dorian Finney-Smith to score, but if they go to Chicago and Maxi Kleber and Dorian Finney-Smith put up five points in the game, it won't be detrimental to the end result of the team's win. Where in Dallas, we need them to score. Not be scorers, but we need you to score. When you're open, we need you to hit your shots. Chicago Bulls team is more rich with talent than the Dallas Mavericks team. Dorian Finney-Smith and Maxie will slide right in and fit whatever role is needed. Hey, Dorian, we need you to play some defense here and there, brother. We need you to play some small ball four here and there. Hey, if you hit a three every now and then, cool. That works. Like Jay Crowder on the Phoenix Suns. Obviously, Jay Crowder played a bigger role. Jay Crowder is better than Dorian Finney-Smith. But shout out to my boy Pierre, Pee Wee the Plug, who used to say, hey, Jay Crowder hit, gives you three threes in a game. Most likely, the Phoenix Suns are going to win. Dorian Finney-Smith can play that role for the Chicago Bulls. That'd be great. But if he's on the Dallas Mavericks, he's expected to hit at least three. It's not seen as a luxury. It's seen as a need. And if he doesn't, more than likely, it's going to be difficult for us to win the game. Same thing with Maxi Kleba at times. It's been times when Maxi Kleba was the starting power forward on the team. Maxi Kleba isn't hitting, i.e. the bubble i.e. this year, this entire year, Maxi Cleaver isn't hitting, it's a detriment to the team. If he isn't hitting on the Bulls, it's not a detriment. It's just less than what they could be getting. It's more of a luxury on the Bulls. It's a need on the Mavericks. Same with the white power. We need the white power to produce. Rebounds. Obviously, you're not expecting the white power to defend some of the centers in the NBA. That's unrealistic. But being a role man for Luka, the White Power will probably be the third string center on the Chicago Bulls. And maybe they don't want a guy who's getting paid $10 million to be a third string center on their team. I understand that. But in order to make the deal work, I'm pretty sure the White Power, Max Kleber, or Dorian Finney Smith, one of those, or maybe two of those three players, will need to be involved. And I'm okay with that at this point because I'm okay with improving. A lot of guys are expendable on this team. I'm not saying straight Jalen Brunson for Laurie Marketing. It's not what I'm saying at all. I'm saying trade guys like Dorian Finney-Smith, Maxi Kleber, the White Powell. Guys who on this team, their roles are too big for their skill set. And that's not a form of disrespect at all. I just think they will fit better on a team that doesn't require as much of them because that's not what they should be asked to do. Because it's not the best way to execute the role that they're given. That's all I'm saying. Dorian Finney-Smith and Max Kleber, good NBA players. Dwight Powell as well. Sure, I like them. But I'm not going to cry if they're gone. I'm not going to be upset if they're gone. I'm not going to say they're ruining the team if they're traded, depending on who they're traded for. And in my opinion, Rory Markkinen is the right player for the deal. The right player for the job. If it doesn't work out, we should try to improve. So I felt about the Josh Richardson, Seth Curry trade. At the time, felt like it was a good deal. Josh Richardson seemed like, hey, he could do some playmaking here and there, get some threes, and he could play some defense next to Luka. At the time, it seemed like an even deal. Turned out it wasn't. But you could not be mad at them for trying to make it happen. That's all I'm asking. 
try to make something happen that makes sense. At the time, that seemed like it makes sense. I think a Lori Markin and deal for one of these players makes sense. But we'll see. I could just be talking for no reason. The deal may not even happen. This could all just be fake rumors. Maybe the deal happens and none of those guys are involved. We'll see. But till then, keep it locked here because you know if that deal happens, I will be making a video on it. I'm probably going to come back and reference this based on who's in the deal. So if you like the video, leave a like on the video. If you didn't like the video, leave a like on the video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Let me know in the comment section how you feel about these three players. Do you think they're expendable? Do you think dealing them for Laurie Markman would be a good deal? Do you agree with me? Do you not? It's no wrong answer. Just get some conversation going. And I'll holler at y'all in the next one.